Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome back to the Boston Bruins GM Mode series. We are in round two of the playoffs. We are looking for the Stanley yep. Cup. Our goal is to win the Stanley Cup in years one, two, or maybe even three, and then go on a complete revote in case you're new to this series. Um, you can see what teams moved on right here. We are going up against Philadelphia. Still don't know why we have home ice when we don't have as good of a record. Still don't know how that's determined. No one commented on the last video. If you know that, please let me know. Um, so I don't have much time, so we're going to try to make this as fast as possible. First thing we're going to do is check out their lines and see who they got. They are a pretty well-rounded team, almost as good as, as good as us when I looked at the overalls there. Uh, edit lines. Here's our lines, just in case you don't know what they are. Worked out pretty decent in the first episode. We obviously have Tsuka Rask as our goalie. Um, so let's view opponents. So their first line, Simmons, Drew, Voracek, one of the deadliest lines in the league. They were all three in the top, like, I think it was five in the playoff scoring so far this year. So you got the two-way, the playmaker, and Voracek now listed as a playmaker, although he can score goals. Second line, Shen, Couturier, and Lawton, more of a defensive second line with three two-way forwards, but they can score, I'm sure. Four points. I'm sure if we, we can't let them get going, essentially. Uh, third line, Reed, Belmore, and Weiss. Interesting sniper two-way grind. That's an interesting combination, but not awful. And then we have Vandeville, Raffle, and Gordon. I don't know why Raffle's on the fourth line. I don't pick their lines for them. So their forward, their first line's deadly. The rest of them, you know, they can get a goal here and there, but we really got to worry about their first line. Their defense, Gosses, Beer, and Gouda. Gosses Beer, we know, is great, good. He, I think he had the most points in the league this year, or something, or close to it. And Gudas, but not really a one-two. Not, not really a top-two pairing. Ours, although we have an 82 on ours, but we also have, I think, a 90, 88, whatever Chara is. Um, so, straight and Delzato. Two left-handed offensive defensive defensemen. Don't know if that's a very good strategy. And then McDonald and Schultz left-handed as well. Only one right-handed defense we have. So really, goalies, it's about even, I guess. So it's basically 89, although he's not really an 89 in real life. And I'm not even calling him a good year. That's why he's an 89. So we'll say they're even, but we might have the edge there. Defensively, about even. If our defenses are great. Offense, I'm going to give it to us. We have David Backus on the third line. Um... Top lines overall are better than ours, but I think our central line can score much more than theirs can. That's about even too. That's a pretty close matchup, essentially. Unfortunately, I don't give speeches and stuff. As I said, I, I really don't, but I want to get a video out this weekend of this series. So let's get to simulating here in Boston. Period one, we're up one nothing. David Backus. Period two. Up 4-1. The fans are going crazy. Berger going crazy. Marshand. Shen got one for them. Holy smokes. We won 8-1. Um, I'm only going to slow sim the third period on games that are close. We were up by 3. If it's 2 or less, then I will. But Spooner, Simmons, Spooner, and Pasternak. We just pretty much cleaned them. Three stars here. Krejci, 5 points. Spooner, Pasternak. I'm telling you, we're a daily team this year. You know, no one thought the Bruins would be a cup contender, but we can. Jimmy Hayes. We will replace player. Let's see who that puts in for. Jimmy Hayes. Coco Lekachev. We'll give him a shot on the third line, actually. I just want to make sure it wasn't Zach Ronaldo. Already up 1-0. Look around at the rest of the league here. Minnesota. It's the top the home team then because we're home. It must be. So three away teams getting the first victory. And then us. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep the momentum on our side. First period, nothing. Second period, nothing. Someone's going to have to step up. If we want to win a Stanley Cup, we need people to step up. 
late in games and freaking Matt Reed scored. Come on, team. Oh, my freaking gosh. Dale Weiss. We're really going to let them win this game. Okay, they won. Dale Weiss again. Where's the offense at? Hello, team. <laughs> How'd we get eight goals there? Well, there's a goal. It's a little bit light. The posture not scored. Can we just take, like... Seven goals off the last game, put them on this one. <laughs> I need it. Uh, one to one. Okay. If the lines don't work out next game, we're going to have to switch them up. So we have three 2 nothing leads. And then our game, our series, which is 1-2-1. One, one. First period in Philadelphia. We got to be the score goals. We're up 2 nothing. Nash and Bergeron. Bergeron has been clutch for us. I keep missing the eight. On the power play for us, they killed it. All we gotta do is hold them off. And the routines on place would be an out shot, but we are have a better. Our goalie's playing better. Essentially, Alex Semin will score. And three nothing, we won the game. Up two to one. Fantastic. If we go in three to one, that really that that could really work wonders there. That that gets them in the stranglehold. It's hard to get out of a three to one lead. We don't want them to tie it up, really. So let's see, Koka Lakachev. No points, but was a was a plus zero. So at least he didn't he didn't, wasn't on the ice when goals were scored, or at least he they balance each other out. Jimmy Hayes back in the lineup. Sick look around alert. The rest of the league. So three, two, and ones now, and a three and zero. Oh. Chicago, looking like it could be next year. Although, if any team can make a a fucking comeback, it's probably Chicago. First period, Marshan. Second period, Bacchus and Krejci. It's three goals, so we're just gonna hit that. They got one. Radko Gudas. And just like that, the Boston Bruins have everyone looking at them and thinking. Can this team pull it off with their amazing new GM slash coach, Justin? So two to two, Chicago did get a win, and then these are all three and one series. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's win it for our fans. Let's win it in Boston just to get to get a party going here in, in, in the arena. Hey, come on, come on! The crowds are the crowd is cheering. Bruins. Oh my gosh, we scored with Trevor Rapoli's first goal of the playoffs. I'm not sure, but probably. Let's get the insurance marker here. They're still cheering Bruins. Oh boy. Bruins. 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 And this one's going to go to sudden death overtime, folks. The shots. We are leading in the shot category. Who's gonna come and clutch? Who's gonna come and clutch? Oh boy, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ugh. Oh. Who got that penalty? We can't get penalties in overtime. Hooking Mapaleski. Why was Mapaleski even on the freaking ice? That early in overtime. Okay, you know, we didn't want we didn't want to have to beat them in their own arena, but we're gonna have to because we cannot let this go to game seven. Chicago walking game, Columbus moving on to the conference final over there in the or I should say in the east. So if we win, we will face Columbus. A little bit realistic, actually, since Columbus has been playing well. 16-game win streak. That did end. But they're still a good team. Riley Nash. We're up 1-0. Can we pull them off? Tuka Rask. These so win this game. Steal a game for us, Tuka. Let's go. Oh, crap. Get an insurance marker. We are killing them in shots. Oh, my gosh. Not again. Come on, on the road, baby. For crying out loud. We are going to game seven in our own arena. Sold out here. 
the whole country's going to be watching. It's do or die. Do we really want to go out in the second round? Come on. Should I change the lines? Look at that. Chicago Tiger. We got three games going to game seven. The fans are getting their entertainment in this year. Let's see how much goals we've scored over the last few games here. So two, one, three, three. Well, I'm not going to mess things up now. We're going to go to San Jose. I trust this team to get the job done. Maybe not as quick as I wanted, but I trust this team. Let's go out there and score. Oh, my God. Shen. Let's go out there and score. Oh, God. We were out shooting them. That's been the story. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Who's going to step up? Krejci, Bergeron, Chara, Marchand. Oh my freaking gosh, we're losing 2 nothing. Power, we had two power plays. Uh, oh, that was embarrassing, to be honest. Um, after game press conference here, I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the blame for this one, guys. Round two, obviously, winning the cup would have been a stretch, but I thought we did have a shot. Um, I'm going to take the I'm gonna take the blame for this one. I didn't change the lines. It should have been a judgment call. And if I learned anything from Winnipeg, it's changed the lines. And it's not working, and I didn't do that. Well, we still got farther than we did any year with Winnipeg, so that's a start. We're going to try to win the cup next year again. Like I said, we're going to keep this team together here for another year or two before we completely rebuild. So see if we can get one here. Um, so let's advance day here, see who wins these other series, the, both the away teams. So Chicago completes, holy crap, Chicago completes the 3 comeback. That's insane. So there are your four playoff teams. Let's check out our player stats. Why don't we for the playoffs? So Marshan maybe should have been on the first line. 15 for Krejci, 14. 13, 11, 10, 8 for Bacchus. Simon did okay. Nash. Hayes. Defensively, not much points. A few minus players. And Tuka Rask. Honestly, pretty good stats. We just couldn't score a goal. It's definitely not his fault. In the next episode, we do the draft, guys. I I plan on trading up for the top t a top ten pick. Um, I do want to. I said I want to win now, but I also want to prepare for the future. Um, so we can get young guys in the system now. It's just I'm saying that another year or two till we trade the old guys. So I think we're gonna go defensemen, honestly. Although we need forwards too. You know, let's just look at this real quick. I'm talking five day, five years down the road. Do we have? Let's see what we have for our core. Okay, so five years down the road, Pasternak will hopefully turn into something. Spooner. Toria Crew will be kind of old, but he'll probably still be here. Joe Morrow hopefully will turn into something. So we have. Two forwards here that should be part of our long-term core, at least a few years. Now we look in the system. We have some forwards here. No, like, elite forwards, which is a little bit concerning. We have some defensemen, two top four. So I think, really, we just go the best player because we don't have any elite defensemen or elite forwards, like, guaranteed, like, medium or high for our team. So we'll probably just go the best player available. Uh, we don't nearly need to go goalie. We have Subban, who will probably be a backup reps next year and the year after that. 
The two girls may be gone, may not be.